So there's no water bottle? No. No, we're just going to Oh, you know what we're doing right now? Well, no, I'm going to just jump in. What I did was... I got you. This is like a really, really, really simple genetic engineering project. And it's like the safest E. coli you can actually find. Something that looks like this when you're done. Uh, if you don't, yeah, if you don't feed it constantly with a lot of things, and then you drag it through just once, and we're just transforming it with a GSP protein. Drag it through again, so the way it's loading. Okay. I did it twice, and it looked like it was growing. Well, yeah. This kit, this is actually a kit used for high school students. Mainly like AP virus and stuff. So the kit was shipped right, to Adam, and, and she started growing them yesterday, yeah, and so okay. she's got them in yeah. uh, log phase so growth, what I, I would which is what you need them to I'm be in for uh, the best I'm transformation. I'm going to put this stuff in the plus tube so. right. because it looks better. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there isn't a tremendous amount of it, and maybe we'll okay. not yet. Okay, okay so. You're standing in front of the camera like this. <laughs> so if you look at the procedure, oh, all right, place both tubes on ice. We place them on ice. Use a sterile plastic inoculating loop to transfer isolated colonies of the E. coli from the starter plate to the plus plasma tube. The total area the colonies pick should be equal in size to the top of the pencil eraser. Be careful not to transfer any agar. The reason why you don't want to transfer any agar is because um, they found that some of the components of the agar inhibit the transformation reaction. So you want to just lightly draw across the colonies to get them up and not gouge into the agar. So I'm going to do the first one, you're going to do the other one. And for those who haven't done this before, if you have something that's sterilely packaged, <laughs> obviously when you open it, you want to open the end away from the business end. So we're going to open the end like this when we open it. I'll do my first. When you open a tube, you, I mean, just think of it as having cooties. You don't want to touch the rim. You don't want to, you, you want to keep it as clean as possible. So this is the calcium chloride, you have quite a bit of it. So what I'm going to do is take this pan transfer pipette and I'm going to make sure that the tip of it doesn't touch anything because that's the sterile part. Mm -hmm. Heck, these markings. Mm -hmm. All right, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Luckily, this isn't. I'm going to use anything constantly. Actually, the second one, uh, the first one's 100. Way up on top? Uh, no, it's still 40 below the floor. I think that's it. Thank you. 
supposed to be a foolproof kit. <laughs> right, and I do my little vigorously spinning the loop. Right now, um, um, it's too rough, it's so wet, I can't see it. They actually suggested it if I put it up and down with one of these. I, I have to be careful though because the volume is so small. I don't want to suck it up into this and then not get it out again. And I'm going to hold it away from myself because now it's got bacteria in it. It looks fairly well we suspended, but I said this is really a critical part. We also don't want to create a lot of bubbles in it. The, the architecture of bubbles sometimes creates very odd environments because they're very thin and they're exposed to the air on all sides. So, all right. Now we have the 